You know, they said there's supposed to be no fluff on here, but I'm getting little bits of fluff coming off of here. It's not the worst thing in the world that could happen. If I see it, I can just pick it off. But what do you expect from $4.99? I, I would still use this because it seems to go so much faster. And the, one, the other thing I like about it is since I'm not doing it around here and squeezing really super hard and using this more like a paintbrush, I haven't really found it to drip much either. I'm liking that too. Okay, and, and when I go around these, if I use my pointer finger, my index finger, just carefully, if I do it on an edge, I can get that little edge right down to the concrete, and I won't have to cut that in with the paintbrush later. I just have to be kind of careful so I don't go beyond my blue paint. I'm pulling up on this to keep it everything kind of tight as I'm going. Okay. May have to touch up around the bolts a little bit, but that's that's fine. So what do I give this little mitt? I, I think I'd give it a B plus, an A minus. Maybe even just an A for the fact I don't have to get my, my mini roller out. And it just seems to be a lot quicker overall. Now the one thing I really wished I would have done was get the second cork. I thought, hey, these rails, one quart, no problem. Well, I was wrong. I don't want you making the same mistake. If you're going to get some paint at the store, if you think a quart will do it, you don't necessarily have to get a gallon. If you think one quart will do it, go ahead and get two quarts because you can always take the second quart back. Now, now the store is going to be closing in about an hour and a half from now. I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing. i got to go back to the store because I really don't want to have to let this set overnight with the masking tape down and the, and the uh, newspaper and all that kind of stuff. I don't want anybody messing with this. And I really don't want to have to come back here tomorrow. I'll work here late. I'd rather work late and get it all done. But I wish I would have just got that second coat. Ah, now that dripped right there because it was that fluff. I'm gonna have to clean that up. But I really wish when I was at the store Smartest thing I could have done was get a second quart. Don't make the same mistake as I did. That's what these videos are about. You're supposed to learn from Joe's mistakes. Uh, uh. Okay, I guess I'm off to the paint store. Liking it. I'm not done with this glove yet, but I don't want to rinse it out. It's getting, you can see, it's getting dusk and the sun's still out, but I can't set this out in the sun to let it dry because I'm going to go to the store. I'm coming back because I want to finish. So I don't want to rinse this off just yet or else it's going to be too wet to use. So I've got some plastic here. This is still saturated. I'm going to put that right on the glove, directly on the glove, okay? In fact, you know what? I need to put some more paint on there. Why is that, Joe? Well, because I want it saturated oh. enough so that the plastic's going to stick. Okay. Right where I've been using it. <laughs> oh, brother. There we go. Okay. Like that. That way when I get back, this is still going to, it's not going to dry out if I push the plastic right down on it. You see what I mean? Okay, so I want to get that all in there. Uh, rubber band. I wish I could just rinse this out. I was thinking about rinsing it out. And then maybe if it wasn't dry, throw it in the microwave. Let's say to try it out. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think that would work? Oh, I don't know. Here, pull that off. Because I 
I don't want the rest of this paint, you know what, the rest of this paint on here is going to be so dry, I'm not going to be able to rinse it off later. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this entire glove off. Yeah. Now with the paint roller, you can do it that way. But see, with the paint roller, the whole thing is saturated. I'd have to saturate this entire thing with paint to put the plastic on there, okay? okay? So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out, run back up to the store, come back, and finish her up. Yeah, I sure wish I would've gotten that extra quart. My loss is your gain. Wow, that's looking nice. I had to go back to the store, and I got a second quart. Now here, here's, a, here's a good tip for you. If you think you're gonna need two quarts, or one and a half quarts, let's say, before you get that, see if they have it in a gallon container. And if they do, the gallon container may be about the same cost as buying two quarts, and then you'll have all that extra. Okay. That's looking nice. That's one coat, by the way. And it's getting dark, but I'm staying here. I got the extra paint, and I'm gonna put on a second coat. And that's gonna be dry before I get done. Now, did this work or not? I'm gonna give it an A minus. I got a little bit of fluff off of the end, but man, this really cut down on the time. In fact, I probably should give this an A. There's a line here, see right there? The, the fluff stuff has already come off the mitten, but I think I'll have enough. And before I put a second coat on, you feel your hand along the whole rail. And if you see any fluff on there from, from your mitten, Go ahead and wipe that off and then do a little touch up, let that dry, and away you go with the second coat. And this is looking nice. And see, I got this, I got this rail over here too, and I just did those two rails over there at the first coat. So those, while those are drying, I'm gonna start way back over here where I first started. You remember where I started? Way down there at the end to the far left. I'm going to do that rail first because I know that's the driest and I'm going to work on this rail over here to the right. Okay, and then I'll work behind me. Do it in sequence and you'll be fine. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.